Time for the download. Today, we are tackling a huge issue, how to have a healthier relationship with your digital devices. I recently spoke with Cal Newport, author of the new book, Digital Minim Minimalism, about how not to let your phone rule your life. Why is this so important? Well, I think a lot of people right now are starting to feel uneasy about their relationship with their technology, in particular, how much they're now doing this, how much they're looking down at their screen, and they're looking for a way to fix this relationship. I've been struggling with this mightily for years. So you've got a plan in your book about how people can do this, and one of the first things you say is to remove any app that makes money from your attention. Well, it's worth remembering that billions of dollars have been invested to try to figure out how to get you to compulsively look at your phone screen. So one of the easiest things you can do to protect yourself from that is just take off the phone the apps to which that investment was made. You can still access them on your computer, at your desktop, but it's not there in your pocket pulling at your attention at every minute of the day. Now, the big kahuna in your book is something called a 30-day digital declutter. This may give some people hives, <laughs> but what is it? Well, I recommend that you actually take a full 30 days to step away from the technologies in your personal life that are optional, the things you don't have to have just to keep the lights on or, or run your business. During that period, actually get back in touch with what you care about, what you actually like to spend your time doing, what your values are, and then when it's over, rebuild your digital life from scratch, just adding back in the tools or services you actually need. You've put people through this digital declutter, this 30-day uh, program. What do you hear from them? One of the key things I discovered was those who are most likely to succeed in making sustainable changes were those who actually put in the effort during the 30 days to figure out what is it that I really want to be doing instead of looking at the screen. Those who did that thinking were much more likely to make long-term sustainable changes when the 30 days were over. As I said, huge subject. The new book is called Digital Minimalism. Cal, thank you very much. And if you want to hear much more from my conversation with Cal Newport, check out the 10% Happier podcast available on Apple Podcasts. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.